used to be very intimidating when you didn't have the beard, but now that you've grown this out, it's a little bit less intimidating. Really? Huh. Is that why we're seeing you with the beard now? Ah, uh, got tired of shaving. <laughs> now, I want to know, what was it like when Stallone came to you and asked you to be in this movie? Because I know you started with Red Belt, and that was kind of your, I mean, as far as acting in movies, and you hadn't been in too many action movies, and now you're in one of the biggest action movies as one of the big action stars, and you surpass these guys by like 15 years. What was that like for you? Well, this is actually my eighth picture. Uh, in the last two years, I, I've, I've gotten oh, way better years, roles. But no, eighth picture in the last six years, but but the last two years I've gotten better parts. Red Belt was a huge step up with me. Working with David Mamet was a great experience. Uh, now this is certainly the biggest movie and biggest part I've had so far. And to be part of an action movie, which, which is a genre I obviously have an affinity for, and I've always liked. Those are the kind of movies I like to go see. So uh, to get a, to get a part was was really cool for me. Now what what all the action fans want to know is. There's been some talk that, oh, it's going to be PG-13, and they're not going to like it. And then Sloan said, no, it's a hard R. There's been some clips lately that top what he did with Rambo 5. Now tell me exactly, what is the carnage factor in this movie, and what is the action factor in this movie? Because it's got to be out of the sky. Yeah, there's a ton of action in this flick, uh, and there's a ton of carnage, too. From the opening scene, uh, he sets the tempo for the whole movie. Can you talk a little bit about that opening scene and what is going on in it? Well, well, what I found interesting about the opening scene was that, uh, you know, I got the part and, and read the script about a month before this whole Somalian pirate thing happened in real life. And, and basically there's, there's a whole pirate scene written into the, the first scene of the movie. And so it was kind of surreal for me to think, I just read this in the script a month ago and now it actually really happened. Uh, in real life. I thought that was pretty cool. Now, when you see that happen in real life, did you go back or did Sly go back and look at some of the stuff that actually happened in real life? Because I know he wants to be as realistic as possible. Did he grab some of the stuff that happened in that situation and pull it back into this movie? No, just to give it I don't think he had to, no. I think the way he had it written was, was the way it needed to be for the movie and, and what happened in real life, although there were pirates involved, was a little bit different situation and scenario, but a similar situation. I didn't mean to say that you were only in Red Belt. That's not what I was implying no, no. with your other eight other movies. But I know in that movie, you did some real fighting in that movie. And I know that some of you guys now coming from the background that you're in get to do real fighting in these movies because they're like, well, the stunts, that's it. Now tell me, what scenes did you get to actually fight in this movie and how much of it is stunt work? And how hard is that for you to mix between the two where you're going to throw a real punch and throw a fake punch. Well, there's a big difference between knowing where that camera is and how to sell a punch and really trying to punch somebody in the face to do damage and take them out. Uh, but there's also a physicality involved that obviously I, I, I have, I, you know, I've been an athlete my whole life. So, uh, you know, it, it's a different thing. Uh, I got to do all of my own stunts in this movie and, and my whole thing in the movie was the hand to hand, was, was fighting guys. The tunnel scenes were great. I got to trash a lot of guys. Also got to shoot a lot of guys. I think by the end of the movie, I was responsible for about 26 uh, deaths. Uh, you know, so there, I mean, there was a lot of carnage in this movie. It was, it was a lot of fun. Well, I want to say you're responsible for 26 deaths, and that's just you. And this is the biggest cast we're seeing this summer. So can you give me a total death count that's in this movie? I think in a neighborhood of 700. Now, is that, does that top Rambo 5, or you don't know? I have no idea what the count was for that, but I'd estimate between all the explosions and everybody that we blew up and killed, probably at least 700 people. And one last question. Dolph, I know, does all his own fighting when he's on set. Yep. Did you guys get a tussle at all, and what was that like if you did? We were teammates in the movie. We're both expendables. Uh, I know uh, that, but I just wondered if you yeah, guys no, it so, up a bit. Oh, you mean outside of yeah, filming? Just, like, no, like when you're uh, running around, if you guys got to just kind of no, mess no, we, we didn't. I didn't get to mess around with, with any of the other actors. Uh, I did get to mess around with some of the stunt guys and get some workouts in with with Tony on the stunt crew, who was a great kickboxer. And you know, I was I was trying to keep my fitness level high because I had to go right into camp after the movie for a fight. So, um, you know, I did my thing.